so maybe you wanna tell me what is interior angle formula is that a formula yes what's the formula something n one n yeah one eight zero n then times one eight zero minus two minus two now is this one or is this all 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 so this is sum of all interior angle now what about sum of all exterior angle is that a formula is it three six zero yeah it's three sixty now let me explain to you let me explain to you in terms of a triangle ah now triangle n equals to what n means n means the number of sides three so this one means three so interior angle means I underline ah this means the red one means I want these three angle add together now let's try n equals to three three minus two one one thousand eighty hundred eighty that means these three angle add together is hundred eighty you follow okay now next greener now exterior angle how how do I draw exterior angle on a triangle can I draw is it this big big thing is it this big big thing actually is no now exterior angle is I need to extend the line so when I extend the line this is my exterior angle when I extend the line this is my exterior angle when I extend the line this is my exterior angle so these three angle add together will be three hundred and sixty can follow so far okay now let's do the question now the question says find the size of exterior angle now which formula is easier first or second second of course the second one right second one right now how do I know how to do oh okay now uh red means in the interior or exterior interior okay so this one means interior this one means exterior right what's the what's the relationship between the interior and exterior oh so one so I go out one interior plus one exterior equals hundred eighty and what is the what is the information on the question what did he say some ratio there's a ratio thing what did he say interior angle uh no leh especially the last five is to one oh there's a five is to one what does the five is to one mean the side the what polygon with n side oh no 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 is it the polygon with n side what is five what is oh this is interior this is exterior do you see that interior interior two two means is two two means dot dot okay so interior to exterior is five is to one so can is it solved already how do you do what does the size mean huh which one find the size oh find okay the size means size means how big is it so for example if the the exterior angle equals 30 the size is 30 degree size size means the number number how big what's the size 30 degree 30 degree is the size now how do i continue from here Eli, maybe you want to share with me how do you continue from here from here 5 is to 1 how do you continue add together is six right so in in simple term i can put there like six units or what yeah. but uh, i can also say let the external angle be x then interior angle will be how many five x how to continue Correct, your answer wrong. Oh, your answer wrote wrong. So your answer is correct, but wrong. So what's the final answer? So five x plus x equals to hundred eighty. X equals to thirty. Okay, stop here. Okay, now next question. So it's a finished mistake. Okay, eight c. One decimal. Ah, one decimal place. How many decimal place do you give? Two. Two. Wrong. <laughs> I'm so, so. <laughs> too much. Gone. 
Uh, I give you one mark, I think. Yeah. Huh? I give you one mark, I, I think. Oh. Mm, because all together, five mark. Right? Mm, I give you four mark. Okay, next one. Nine. Nine B. Okay, nine B. Nine B, anyone need me to go through? Nine B. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Nine A is okay? Okay, why not we go through nine A as well? We go to 9A as well. 9A. Okay, 9A says interest he could earn in 3.5 years. Let me copy down what you write. Then we see what is the mistake. A equals... Yeah, I think it's the wrong formula, is it? It's the wrong formula. Because this is compound interest. Did they say simple interest? They did actually. Read. Can you highlight the word simple interest? Yeah, they did. And what you did was compound interest. So it's definitely wrong. Okay? So you have to use I equals to PRT over 100. You have to use it. So this is clear. So I think you can go to B. Anyway, the answer is... 1487.5 Okay, let's go to B. B says, uh, what is the total amount of money after he has in 3.5 years? Oh, you went to minus. So A is the total amount equals to P minus I. Who tells you this? Well, you memorize, is it? Oh, okay. Yours confirmed wrong because your a is no, wrong, wrong then your B is wrong. For yours is concept error. Now, total amount of money, this total amount of money, actually it depends whether it's plus or minus. But this total usually means the principal plus the interest. But sometimes it can mean minus the interest. But do you know when is plus, when is minus? To know. You see the compound is no, it's not because compound interest, but because of this 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 question. Now let's try. Uh. Now I put so much money, eight thousand five hundred inside, and then it earn five percent per annum. Then after three point five year, I have interest. So this is my principal. Do you agree? This is my principal amount of money, right? Then after I earn how much? My interest is. One this. Then the question is after three point five years how much do I have? Add together. Add together it, does it make sense? Because this is I earn uh, I earn. That's it I need to pay. Then maybe I subtract. Does it make sense? No like, even if I have to pay it's a total. Is it because you confuse the word total? I think I've got to memorize the formula. Yeah, you memorize the formula. So don't so think of it like a picture form, like in this form. I first I put plus, I don't mind. Yeah, then you put like this. If I provide you the answer, I'll never catch this mistake. Because every time I see correct answer, you will change your answer to fit the answer behind. Not in my head. Now you understand, huh? Okay, let's go to the next question. 12. 12. Question 12. Question 12. Name a pair of single triangles. This is all the You don't even have the diagram. Oh, you have on top. 12A, who got wrong? Correct. I forgot my wrong. triangle. Correct. Okay, then we go through with the two of you. Huh? In order to write the correct answer, uh, let's try, let's try. Do you still remember this method on the board? Triangle 1, triangle 2, remember? So triangle 1, triangle 1, let me write A, B, C, uh, simple, uh, simple. Now tell me in triangle 2, huh, which is the angle that is equal to angle A? T. T. B. B, C. C. Question mark, because... I think it's quiet. Is it correct? I'm not sure. What about C? C X. No. 
Okay, first do you know which two triangles you are, you are, you are looking at? Mm. Triangle ABC and triangle XCT. Yeah. Uh, but I don't know which one is the order. I don't know what is the order. So, is it is it sure? Is it confirmed that C, look at C, uh, C in ABC and C in XCT, what is the corresponding angle in triangle 2 for C? Okay, I, re I repeat again. Uh. Okay, for triangle 1, B, I, I'm not sure. B, I erase away. B, I don't know. Because uh, Ming Wen say C, then she end off with the question mark. C, so I'm not sure. Ma, so I erase away. So since I don't know B, I look at C. If C in triangle 1 is equal to which angle in triangle 2? I'm referring to this XCT. Uh, XCT. C in triangle ABC is equal to which angle in XCT? Okay. We, we, we highlight the triangle so it's easier to see. Big triangle. Big triangle. Big triangle. Small triangle. So C in the big triangle is equal to what angle in the small triangle? X, C, T, right? Still angle C. Do you agree? Do you agree it's the same angle? So therefore, over here you can write C. And you know this is correct. You understand? Therefore, the last one will be what? The last alphabet here will be what? X or? Must be X or? Is it right or wrong? Wrong. Wrong, huh? So let's try, huh? If I write A, C, B, that means I write 1, 1, 3, 2. Then this one must be 1, 3, 2 as well. Then so this is similar to triangle T, C, X. Ah, then it's correct. Give yourself one mark. Okay. You, yours is really wrong, huh? Okay. So now you know, you know how to do it. So you will match the angle. Okay, next question. No more already, huh? So you start for paper one. Okay, now. Nah? 